Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. So the first thing that you will need to do is to turn on your router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into an outlet and the other into the router. Then press the power button. When the router is turned on, the power indicator will be lit. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, plug the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem into a special internet port. This port is usually labeled as internet and usually it has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it snaps into place. Now you need to restore the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait until the indicator lights on the router start flashing. At times, this button is found inside the router casing to prevent it from being pressed by mistake. In this case, use a slim object to press it down. The router will restart and the settings will go back to their original factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into one of the LAN ports. And plug the other end of the cable into your computer's Ethernet port. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, we've connected the router to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But first, let me show you another way to connect the router if you do not have an ethernet cable or your computer does not have an ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new and hasn't been set up, your Wi-Fi network will be named after the router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Awesome, you've connected to the router. Now let's get it set up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. If the link doesn't open, or you see a page with a password that you don't know, it means that your router has already been configured and you need to reset it to factory settings. Then you can try to enter the router settings panel again. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. So at first you need to set a password for the personal cabinet of your router. Click on let's get started button. I should also warn you that depending on the firmware version, you may not have some setup steps or they will be in the wrong order. Trust me, you got this. Just watch the video and follow instructions. On the first screen, select your time zone. If you don't remember which one you have, select any and click next. On the next page, select the type of internet connection. Usually it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you don't know, you can try to click on the auto detect button. The router will try to identify what type you have. If it is failed, select dynamic IP and click next. 
Depending on what type of connection you have chosen in the previous step, this page may differ from mine. If you have selected dynamic IP, then choose one of the options on this page. If your ISP only allows internet access to a specific MAC address, you need to clone the MAC address of the primary computer. If you are not sure about your MAC, select Use Default MAC Address and click Next. In most of the cases, there is no need to clone the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, please run it again and clone the MAC address for a try. On next page set name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. You can enable the available modes of your router. There will be one or more modes available. If there are several, enable them and enter for each network the name and password of your future Wi-Fi network. Password must be at least eight characters long. When you write the credentials, click on the next button. On this page, you can configure TP-Link cloud service. Do not touch anything here. Just click skip button. On the next page, you will see all the information that you specified earlier. Just confirm the settings by pressing next button. Wait until the router tries to connect to the internet by itself. If it's failed, check again whether you have connected all the cables correctly. Click skip, then try to reboot your router. But if it's not failed, then check whether the internet is available. Just Google something. If there is no internet, you need to reboot router. For this, go to advanced. Next, select System. Select Reboot Menu Item and click on the Reboot button. If the internet still does not appear, you need to log in to the router control panel using the password that you created at the very beginning of the router setup. Select Internet Menu button and then clone MAC address. After that, save the settings. Reboot your router again. After a couple of minutes, check internet connection. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.